Shulchan Aruch says that whenever we are coming to say the words, Ose Shalom Bimromav, Uberachamai Vase Shalom Alein, Uberal Kol Amo Yisrael, Vimro Amin, we're supposed to step three steps back. Many times we see people that they do Shmona Yisre, and it's a country Shmona Yisre, they just take one step back. Ose Shalom Bimromav, Uberachamai Vase Shalom Alein. This is a mistake, Abotai. A person had to do Ose Shalom Bimromav, three steps, not one step, and that's it. Halacha says that those three steps are corresponding to leaving to, from HaKadosh Baruch Hu right now as a slave servant in front of the master. And because of that, says the halacha, you cannot leave the three steps back with your face up. You're supposed to put your head down and bend down in front of right now, the king, like you are walking back in front of, in, behind the, the, away from the king. The, that's why you have to, first of all, lower your head like this all the way down, and then you are going three steps back. After you did the three steps back, you do Ose Shalom Bimomav, Barachamav, Yahubarachamav, Ose Shalom Alenu, Al Kol Amo Yisrael Bimu Amin. Not supposed to be, many times you see people going like this. Yoram, you see these people go like this. Ose Shalom Bimomav, Barachamav, Ose Shalom Alenu, Al Kol Amo Yisrael Bimu Amin. This is a mistake. First, you have to take the three steps back. And then you do the head. Then you do Ose Shalom Bimomav, Barachamav, Ose Shalom Alenu, Al Kol Amo Yisrael Bimu Amin. That's the, the right way. Now, is this obligation applies to Kaddish also, or only applies to Shmona Yisrael? This is the Machloket between the Ben Ishai and Rav Vadi Yosef. Ben Ishai says that this only applies to Shmona Yisrael. Kaddish, Tolkash Kaddish of Titkabal, you have to do this. But Rav Vadi Yosef says, you read Shulchan Aruch. Shulchan Aruch says, a person that steps three steps back, says Osei Shalom Ibomav, has to step three steps back. He didn't say only by Shmona Yisrael. Shulchan Aruch didn't specify that it's supposed to be only in Shmona Yisrael. Therefore, says Ravadi Yosef, the words of the Ben Ishai that said it's only by Shmona Yisrael, he's wrong. Halakha obligates you to do it in all the time that you do Osei Shalom Ibomav. When is the only time you don't do this? Three steps? When you read Birkat Amazon. Over there at the end, you say Osei Shalom Ibomav, you don't have to go three steps back to the kitchen maybe, but you don't have to do that. You have to um, uh, just say it. That's the story of Saiti, which Shmona Yisrael Chitaiti. Kaddish, Luboi Kaddish, Yeh Shalom Abudzit, Al Yisrael Budzit. You yourself saying, Chazan saying, it doesn't matter. The fact that you are stepping three steps, this Osei Shalom Imbomav requires three steps back, Patom, Osei Shalom Imbomav, Rahamar Osei Shalom Alenu, Al Kol Amo Yisrael Imbu Amenah. Left leg first. Right. The right way, the Zohar Kadosh says, that, that uh, Yoram, you know, whenever we are praying Shmon we are by the Atzilut. The Zohar Kadosh says, we are in front of HaKadosh Baruch It's low. Why is Atzilut called Atzilut? Because we are by Hashem. Atzilut is from the word it's low. says right now, all the blessings that you ask from HaKadosh Baruch to get, supposed to go down, filter itself, in three more steps, three more worlds. Atzilut, Bria, Yitzira, Patom Yitzot Naasiya, Olam Azeh. He says, how do we pull those, this Bracha, three worlds down by those three steps. That's how serious those three steps are. If a person does that's it. Or he does just one step. He doesn't take the proper three steps. All the bracha stays in the world of Atzilut. Remember we spoke about that every spiritual blessing has to have a physical action. What's the physical action of redrawing or pulling down the bracha from Atzilut to Briya, to Yetzirat, to Eta, to Mir, to Asiya, those three steps. Imagine this. A person came, Akedat Yitzchak Chital, Talit Nagol of Wadzeel, Ani Baruch Hazdech Azkazal. He does the whole entire thing. Shmona Yisri, with Kavanam Al Yilser. He comes to, to pull this Beracha down to this world. So it only, only takes one step. How much a person loses? Kagdao Ni Pravin Eta Zeli. Paitamun Mori Yaakov. The right way from now on, three steps, the right way. How is the right way? Says the Halakha. First you take off the left hand. How far do you have to take it? Leg. Huh? Leg. To the, your toe of your left toe, supposed to be in the heel of your right. Patom, second time, the right toe, supposed to be in the heel of the left, and then you are equaling it. And then you're saying, mm-hmm. There is another machloket between the Kabbalim, Mekubalim, and the Shulchan Aruch. The, whenever you are going, and you are doing those three bowing down, it's supposed to be like this, look at this. It's supposed to be like this. Or you're supposed to be like this. Or you're supposed to be like this. What's the right way? So the first way is the halakha way. The second way is the kabbalah way. The Zohar Kadosh says that in Shemona Yisrael you're supposed to bow down seven times. 
But he says, where do we bow down seven times? We only bow four times. Magen Avraham, at the beginning, Tato Magen Avraham, Modim Anachnu Lach, Tato Shimcha Lachana Ele Adot, Tot Kachitiri. Says the Zohar, no, it's supposed to be seven times. Abzeh seven times. He says, whenever you are stepping the three steps back, and you are bowing down, Oseh Shalom Yivlona, Piat Yistav. Uberachamav Yaseh Shalom Aleinu, Shisto Yistav. Ve'al kol amo Yisrael, Sid Mo Yistav. Now you got the seventh one completed. So if a person wants to follow the Mkubalim, that's the right way to do. The left, you got up. The right, you got up. And then in the middle, and you are getting up. Ve'al kol amo Yisrael, Ve'im Ho Amir.